Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Joe Semi. My name is Joe and we have Steven here from Red Lessons. Hey, what's up Joe? How's it going? Hey, it's going great and thank you so much for allowing me to do this in your studio. This is a great place to film videos and in fact, you probably have seen thousands of videos come from this room right here. So uh, <laughs> it's quite an honor to be part of it. I feel like I'm, this is better than YouTube space. I'll just have to say that. So, You're crazy. All yeah. right. Thank you though. Well, no, because YouTube space doesn't have a thousand bottles of perfumes around. That is true. That is true. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't play around the way that we do here. Exactly. So. Exactly. So uh, today I want to bring to you hot off the presses T-Rex. Uh, I was so excited when... Um, Victor Wong announced that he was going to do two versions of the bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no difference, by the way, in the fragrance. There's no difference in price. It's just that the special edition is a limited run. 450 bottles will be available of the special edition. Mm -hmm. And the only difference is the red box and the sunglasses on the T-Rex. Really? Yes. So the there's a cameo in the sunglasses. Yes. That's too funny. Yes. So they'll really be cool. uh, both on the bottle and on the box. So... Um, Plus, I'm a collector, right? So collectors want to have things that they can't have. Yeah. And whatever. And uh, there's no difference in price. Why not, right? Go ahead and do it. So yeah, yeah. the first time I was introduced to T-Rex was in April, actually, at Essence. Victor Wong gave me a little sneak peek of it. I kept my mouth shut. But uh, I knew that this was going to be amazing when it came out. And here it is today in its full glory. Let's talk about it. Yeah, so, let's do so. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot to consider here. Uh, it has a plethora of notes. It's composed by Antonio Gardoni, who has a perfume line called Bogue. He's a very artistic and artisanal perfumer. Uh, his creations at times are a bit out there. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely one of the boldest scents that Zoologist has ever released. Yes. Even bolder than Sty uh, Styrax? Hyrax? Hyrax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It rhymes with Styrax. It is, I think. <laughs> it is. Although, I, I must admit, I find Hyrax to be a bit more animalic. Okay. But this one, so for those of you who are not familiar with Zoologist Perfumes, they make fragrances that are inspired by animals or the climate and habitat of those animals. So you had the original formulation of Panda, which had a lot of bamboo in it, right? You have a fragrance called Civet, which contains the note of Civet. But then you have Bat, which has a sort of cavernous feel about it. So it has this damp quality about it. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting how you're able to translate that from the visual to the olfactory. Exactly. And, and what's interesting is obviously we weren't around where dinosaurs were around, but we have a story that's tied to this this time period. Yeah. And in a way, well, I, if you read the inside of the book, uh, inside this little you know flap, um, I love the little story that he, he paints uh, that talks about the smell journey that we're gonna go on yeah. when we smell this because how do we know what a T-Rex smells like this? I don't, you know, we have no clue, but it does take you on that journey. And when you read the story and you smell the perfume, you're like, aha, that makes sense now. Yeah. You know? I mean, when you think about it, a T-Rex, it's this gargantuan creature kind of looms over you. It has these razor sharp fangs and it was supposed to almost be an expression to dismantle or obliterate decimate some of the more delicate perfumes out there because this is anything but delicate this is in your face it's aggressive uh people who smell this on you are going to be at a loss for words let's just put it like that yeah and you mentioned that it was meant to to crush del delicate things uh -huh. well the interesting thing the middle notes are all florals and they're delicate and where the top and the base like the teeth of a t-rex just go chomp Ah, just I didn't like even that. think about that. You know, that's uh, interesting. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and 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 that's that's because the base, the middle notes are all these beautiful, delicate florals, but then we got the top that's really just in your face. You got the base that's mm -hmm. really in your face, and um, we even talk about extinction in the in the story here, the fire, the the burning embers, and yeah. and the things. And I I got the smokiness of this. There is a um, I'm gonna smell this one too. Yeah, actually. go right ahead. Yeah, I got this. I smell a lot of Cade. Um, oh, yeah, sure. I, I smell incensey, smoky. Um, the patchouli in this is very subtle. Mm -hmm. This is definitely smokier than I... Now that I remember, it's just it's a very smoky fragrance. I would say this is very smoky. Yeah, yeah. 
but I feel like there's a lot of complexity in this fragrance even still, especially at the initial spray of it. So, so when I was talking to, you're right about mm -hmm. that. When I was talking to Victor Wong at Parfumery, you know, he was mm. telling me a little bit about what inspired some of the notes. Like there's a rose oxide note in here and rose can kind of give off like a blood like smell. Mm -hmm. So um, it's interesting when you take into consideration the extinction of this pachyderm and it has leather in here as well. So the leather kind of gives off that tanned hide kind of a vibe. It's an accord, obviously. And in terms of, you know, it being a zoologist creation, it doesn't contain any animal ingredients, by the way. It is a totally vegan brand. Uh, but the only animal notes per se are the leather and the civet. Now, does this smell animalic? Not really. Yeah. A lot of people tend to make an association between some animalic notes uh, to, uh, you know, some of the other challenging notes. I would say this is challenging, which is a good thing. And I think a lot of niche perfumes challenge us, not in the sense that, oh, I'm challenged to wear it, but I'm challenged in terms of how I perceive it. And I think a lot of times when people throw out the word challenging, they say, oh, so that means it's hard to wear. It's not hard to wear, but it's hard to make up your mind about how you feel about it. I love wearing this one. As a matter of fact, when Victor Wong gifted me with a small travel atomizer, thank you for that, uh, Victor, I remember spraying it on my hand and I was so eager and curious to smell what it smelled like on everybody else. And it unfolded and just sort of bloomed on everybody differently. It's really fascinating. Yeah, and that's uh, let's, one of the things I love about perfumery in general because uh, just being able to smell um, how this smelled on somebody else versus on me. Yeah. And because he did spray some people around and I smelled something different on Yana, I smelled something different on everybody. You know, Manny had it too and yeah. all the people yeah. that were there. So uh, it was quite a, quite a cool thing. Um, so I, I really do dig this. It's very different. It's unique. I don't think it smells like anything that anybody's ever sure. made. Uh, yes, it's very smoky. Yes, the story is great. And I think you guys are going to like it if you're looking for something very different. Uh, seasons. What, what do you, when do you think this is appropriate? Winter. Winter. <laughs> yeah. Winter, yeah. if anything. Yeah. I mean, truthfully speaking, you can wear this whenever you want especially if you're in a climate controlled environment. But if you're trying to sync up the compositional nature to a time of year, uh, because it's, I mean, take a look at the color of the liquid, yeah. right? So it's super dark. It's this dark golden ambery juice. So I think this one works really well in the winter, although personally I haven't worn it in the winter, but I just see it biting right through the cold. Sure, that's T-Rex. So. <laughs> really good release, solid. I uh, couldn't have chosen a better perfumer to carry out this project. So, Victor, I think you did a wonderful job there. Yeah. So, good job. Yeah, you can find this at? At Perfumology. Yeah. In the King of Prussia Mall. That's right. Uh, near Guy yep. works there. Yep. Uh -huh. You can also get an Indigo Perfumery in Cleveland, Ohio. Sure. Uh, there's also a Perfumery right here in New York City. Yeah. Um, and of course you can buy it directly from Victor Wong right on his website now. So. He's all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty much it for uh, T-Rex right here. Make sure you check them out. Of course, we already told you where you could buy them. And uh, of course, if you have tried anything from uh, Zoologist, make sure you leave a comment down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channels. I'll leave the links below. And make sure to follow us as well on Instagram and all that good stuff. So uh, that way, we'll be able to interact with you as well. Thank you guys so much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell at the top, and that way you can get notified when we come out with new content. Nice. Alrighty. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.